Tonight on Prison and Politics, our right-wing commentators justified in claiming that prison rioters are being paid by George Soros and does automation mean that the next generation of prison guards will be less cruel or infinitely more so? But first, is it time to raise the minimum wage of prison labor to 15 cents an hour? Welcome to the East Toronto Detention Center and another episode of Prison and Politics. I am former journalist and disgraced Senator Ethan Samuelson, and don't worry, I was the embezzlement kind of senator and not the sex with teenagers kind. Joining me tonight is a man who would have killed me if it was the other way around, Brother Drillbit Saeed, to talk about the struggle for a 25 to life minimum wage. Brother Drillbit, thanks for taking the time. It is a pleasure to be here, white devil. Brother Drillbit, why is it time for a 15 cent minimum wage? Well, Ethan, because depending on who you're talking to, 15 cents an hour is not very much money. Well, it's more money than our parents made when they did their first nickel. Well, oh, that's true. But if you account for inflation, prison minimum wage has actually been on the decline in real terms for decades. It's a good thing we have affordable mandatory housing. But what do you say to critics who are concerned that an increase in the minimum wage will discourage companies from using prison labor? Look, some jobs will likely get outsourced to third world hell prisons, but employers know that a made in Canada prison product will be of a better quality. Oh, because they were made by workers with both their hands. Yeah, unless you piss off eight ball Chris. But is it fair to ask the consumer to pay an extra 15, 30, or 45 cents for a product? No, yeah, that is a reasonable question. But all economic indicators point to them being willing to spend more for a better product. Which economic indicators? This tier, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, that's just a little economic humor for the folks at home. Well, Brother Drillbit, thanks so much for being here. Pleasure, Pale Lucifer. That's all the time we have on prison and politics. Join us next week when I'll talk to our psychology expert. He'll tell us about countries where the prison system doesn't force people to become more violent to survive. And then I will stab him with this sharpened toothbrush. Good night. <laughs> Dun 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 d